Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLAS TV Africa. We head straight to our second conversation as we look at the state of the nation. We have a guest in the studio. He's the founder, One Love Family, Sat Guru Maharaji. It's good to have you join us this morning in the studio. Uh, blessings to everyone. All right, uh, let's look at the state of Nigeria. Top on the list is the fact that if you look around in the Northeast, you find the issue of uh, this militant uh, groups terrorizing and, you know, disturbing. You come to the Southeast, you have the issues of uh, separatists and all of the threats uh, that are around. You go to the Middle Belt, you have the clashes, uh, Farmer Heather's clashes, as some would call it. And all of that, uh, how does that make you feel? Well, it's like um, maybe people are trying their own things, but then the problem is the leadership right from the beginning. Man was told to know himself first, seek the kingdom of heaven first. They look for a kingdom of stomach infrastructure. So gradually we cut away from nature. And you cannot satisfy yourself with things outside. You can only satisfy yourself with the energy that is propelling you for it to be satisfied. So generally it's everywhere, all over the world, where people are trying to see, you know, if we build plenty of houses, we are going to be okay. Whereas what is important is the peace within, that we touch the other person. So whatever is happening is not news. And the fact is that we are disconnected from our true selves. Uh, what would you say um, is your relationship with the current administration? Um, uh, I mean, my, my relationship has been cordial. I've been talking, shouting and screaming, hey, you cannot just present 11 players for Nigeria to be beaten by a country like Ghana. Then there's something wrong. So what is happening? We need to change our mindset. If you cannot do well, stay aside. Let somebody else who can do it come up. Yeah, but why, why do you think that's not happening? And why do you think they're not listening to your advice? Um, because, uh, you know, Nigeria, for example, it's more or less like a green giant. And if you go into history, they say civilization evolved from Africa, Nigeria, particularly Southwest, who today are facing the bombing, fighting from all, all over the world to hide the idea that civilization started here. Black is nothing. And so when you look at the situation like that, People are being induced with money, with all kind of juicy things for them to forget that look, six oil producing, I mean the sixth oil producing country in the world. We have the raw materials. But we our export to the world is not up to even 0.1 percent of hundred million things that are going on. And so it's like our priorities are not there. And these priorities cannot be faced except we go back to culture. Yeah. In the culture of the old, Ibu man can touch this flower and turn it into what a snake. They are using it to make money all over. We go there. Yoruba man can do like this, and then there's a frog coming out. Why is it not happening now? because we are chasing the wind, our ghost. So this is what I'm saying here. That we need to go, but if we cannot go, how do we save the man? And that is where I've come to turn the tide against poverty, illness, sickness. Once you know the power inside, you'll be like the bee. The bee is walking through nature. The creator gave the bee that one. You have your own, I have my own, he has his own. Who did I happen to be the man, the engineer that will give the knowledge? Once it is there, and that's why I've said no war. Doesn't matter whatever, they could be shouting. If there is war there, 
it means that we have not sat down to think whether this life is real. If life is real, you don't need to use any weapon to fight. You give food, you give love, you care. Because what are we looking for? Dissatisfaction. Let's do trade by butter if we can do that. All right, so you mentioned leadership has always been the problem, and yeah. that's why we're here now. Uh, so how would you describe the body language of the president in handling insecurity in the country? I mean, you see that there's so much might. Some would say federal might in the southeast, as compared to proscribing bandits as terrorists. Um, the black man should not follow the white man's way. Yeah, because it is there. Thou shalt not kill. Whether good, rabbit, cow. In the days of old, what we use is to, to be hospitable, to care. And in doing so, nature does not demand any laziness, laziness, misadventure. We give everybody the right to do the best. So whatever is going on now, it's wrong to carry a bomb. How? We are not at war. Why are you bombing? I, I was against the Musaya um, when they started bombing the young men, the militants, right? They were not killing. They were touching the equipment here and there. Yeah. So you don't need to bomb them. All you do is bring them together. Look, where do we go? I'm a father. If my children are not happy, I don't need to bomb them. And I'm not a correct father. I'm crazy. Oh, yes. So we need to bring them up. Except there's a motive behind. And the motive, my friends, I'm telling you, is to eliminate the black race. Let us wake up now. So whose, whose motives is it? Yes, they have been doing it. Who? Yes. The Europeans. They want to tell us that the black is stupid. We are not stupid. No, we're talking in this context. Oh, yeah, it's the same. Uh, of course, country. it's from here. It's uh, part of it. Because here you are, whatever you are using is European. We cannot produce anything. What have we done? You are breathing the air. So my coming in now is to set the whole thing straight. Look at the power inside you. If you have it, you will never fight anybody again. Because what is needed is an economy that is buoyant. Everybody working hard. Do we have to go abroad? Like even the East we are talking about. If all the boats here and there go to the East and begin to what produce, they will find them come, like the, the, the man on the road is talking. That's what is missing. We have not got to the point of understanding that love is the key. And this love cannot come because there's a fight between the black race and the white race, indirectly. Where everything you want is coming abroad. Ah, they will detect what you do. And that's why they are sending us against us. So our people must go back to know that, look, those that have come and gone. Many of them, big and small. We are not going to follow the same thing anymore. So are you saying that um, uh, the, the white or some persons outside of our space, Nigeria, uh, probably be giving the president some uh, direction, uh, telling even the president the, what to do? The, Is the, that the, why he's not Even the Southwesterner. Imagine a Yoruba man carrying Bible. What is he going to get from there? It's a paper tiger. It's God inside the Bible. Is he inside the Quran? It's not there. It's within you, within him, within me. All we have to do is know. So they are bribing everybody. The Igbo man is receiving money, Yoruba man, Chekiri, how's everybody? To make sure that they sap everybody here. So that's just what I'm saying. Let us go back to the if the front is not working. Oh yes, we don't have to, because just look at nations of the world who went through whatever Nigeria is going through now, 1% of it, yeah. Nigeria is more than, Nigeria is breathing, moving. Why? Because I am here. I'm saying, God is within you. Let's find that God. You're going to be okay. So, people say, no, what is he saying about this? He's not talking about, um, you know, going abroad. No, you don't need to go abroad to be alive, to work. During the war, we made what we call Odinigwe or something like that. Huh? Where are they now? We have to research on. We have to go ahead. We don't have to say, Nigerian project must work. To work, we have to respect each other. 
Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, French. Even the Fulani, there are Fulani in the Victoria land, in Ibadan, Calabar. They are living. But we are talking about the Fulani man that will go to my farm, kill, take, destroy the farm, kill everybody there. And then when he's taken to the police, he gets paid, and that's the end. No. Nigeria of that nature is not going to work. We have to clear all of them aside. Well, um, we have um, about a year plus uh, before the next elections. Yeah. Um, how do you see that turning out? And uh, what would your advice be to, you know, for those who are going to be taking part in the elections? Uh, we just have to talk to everybody. Uh, it is we who have to make the change. The ordinary man on the road, the ordinary man on the street, in the offices, leadership starts from there. Accountability. You don't see something wrong and you keep quiet. You don't see what is not to be done. Imagine you are coming on the road and there's another motor facing you. You just have to park because he might have done something and he wants to die. He is running away. So we have to work together. The police must be there. The army must be there. Each and every one of us. If you want 2023 to be credible, and I'm saying this, that the INA commissioner must sit up. Like what is even the elections in Anambra? How can you hold elections in a place like that? Why are we holding up? Let us make peace first. You cannot make them make, conduct elections where people are killing. This one dies today. Just imagine how they kill uh, Chief Akunyili. Hi, such a man that has been brought up to that level. So elections or no election, I am saying, let's Nigerians sit down and think about where we are now and where we are going. Elections will be there forever. Our peace is very important. We need to respect each other. The constitution must be respected. The institutions must work. And it starts from you and I. Right from, you go to an office, you want a file. You will tell your guy, your file is there. It's in the next building. And now later he tells you that our guy is not there, he's at home. I need to go and meet him. He's lobbying for something. Why? Because the management of the economy or the leaders managing it are not straightforward. Six oil producing country. Today there are people whose retiring, I mean, retired benefits are not paid. This is where I want the TV, the radio men to focus on. We don't leave them. Uh, Evans is a uh, kidnapper. His case is taking 10 years. What for? There's evidence that he has done something. Yeah. Okay? Kanu is there, the, detained. The, 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 re the reason I was asking about the elections, I, we can get back to Namdi Kanu in a bit. Well, <clears throat> the reason I'm asking about the elections is, um, you know, just to judge your, or to get your views on what you think Nigerians should have mentally before the elections. Um, there's going to be candidates. Um, there's people who have already started to, of course, show themselves as you know, you know, likely to run for the elections in 2023. Uh -huh. um, there are polit political parties, you know, of course, that you, know, you yourself may say, okay, well, this party has, has done well enough mm -hmm. or has you know, completely gotten it wrong. Um, um, so so what, what is your mindset like? in the build-up to the elections? I'm not a card-carrying party man. And uh, I've been involved in the last 20 years or so uh, in molding the minds of the people to know that elections or no elections, we are human beings and we have to respect each other. For me to give you my vote, for you to come and protect me, you must be somebody straightforward. And so the leaders need to check themselves, talk to themselves, to realize that they cannot deceive Nigeria anymore. I believe in fair and credible elections, but who are those around there? Is the INEC man correct? We need to change him. Because it's really a situation where you leave me to go for the election only to say that, oh, my documents were not OK. It doesn't apply to jam. And our professor, INEC chairman, should see to this kind of little, little, you know, lacuna, they might call it. So that at the end of the day, we sit and feel proud. You don't give him money, and then he messes up. So 
We are all praying for a fair trade elections, but I will give a condition. Anybody who wants to buy for presidents must be cleared by EFCC for 20 good years. A constituency projects that he was involved, he should come out. As a senator, what did he do with the money here and there before they are allowed to what? Come up for elections. They need to be screened by EFCC. Everybody one by one. Oh, okay. All right, so um, in all of this, uh, what would you say the role of religious leaders should be in you know, the Nigerian project that has to work? Um, uh, what should be their role? Religious leaders should turn their religion into farm settlements because they are duping the people. They are telling people to die to go to heaven. They are saying Jesus has done it, Muhammad has done it. I mean, I cannot believe that we have lost T.B. Joshua. Ah! With what he has done, can he disappear like that? This is where religion is something that you cannot go there now. Because it's like... No, no I, we're talking in the context of, you have mentioned here that the Nigerian project must work. And that's what everybody wants. There, no you have also mentioned here that no. uh, there's no need to go abroad. Yes. And we have religious leaders, whether or not um, you know we you want know, to agree. They are there, different religion and all of that. Leader, so, so, so what, um, the, the question now is what role can they play to move this Nigerian project forward? They, what can they do to better this country? Right, they should join politics instead of deceiving people that God will help. God has no help. God, Allah, uh, Elohim, Tenetagramaton, Yahweh, is all boo, woefully. Otherwise, hey, the prayer, 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 what is it? Not it, that people are stealing. Some people will go there and throw what? Stone at Satan. Satan becomes stronger again. Nigeria. Look, you go to the market to buy Gary, they will put some sawdust underneath. They put paper. Some people will come and sell you a radio only to find out that they just what printed it. The spirits are dead. So religious leaders, I'm not going to go there. The best I can tell them is to what establish farm settlements for the adherents to have something to eat because their jobs have not been done. And there's no way you can blame them. Why? Because, hey, you cannot milk a dead cow. Why? One, if we go into history, uh, we spoke Sanskrit at the beginning. In Sanskrit, there was nothing like English, German, French, Yoruba. In Sanskrit, the true name of the creator is Maharaji, Muaraji, Muaraji. But then the Europeans brought God, Allah, and so on, and wrote books for us to read about them. All I'm saying is that watching Plus TV at home, cannot give me the interview. I have to be here. Okay? You have to see me here. So if I am following a God that is omnipresent, omniscient, omniscient, and I'm in trouble, he cannot come, what do I do? And that's why I'm introducing a new thing. The religious bodies should go in a normal way. Now, here, they are professing Adam, Abraham, and all that, but nothing works. Let us now go Maharaj. If they are sincere, they should use Maharaj in their prayers. Look, I have something here. Maybe I left at home. Okay, it's here. I cannot be shouting outside. I need this machine called iPhone. The same way there's something inside you and I. But his name is not God. It's not Allah, no. It's Maharaj. It's within everybody. If you talk, you hear. The Maharaji will answer. Yes, it's derived from Sanskrit, the mother tongue. Maharaji is the one. You don't need, you talk, he will listen and guide. Then you talk and give help to the man who is there, a beggar with 20 million in his hand, is, is doomed because he doesn't know what to do with it. Rather, he will go and marry and have a house, drink and burn people who are going to go as beggars on the road. The money will disappear. Because why? He wants to feel fine, he wants to feel good, he doesn't want to know tomorrow. But there's a power inside you and I that knows tomorrow, that can show us the way. 
So religious leaders today is a diversion. No, no, talking about knowing tomorrow, I remember it was in the news uh, that you had said that the APC will rule Nigeria beyond 2019. Um, it's in, in a couple of headlines that I had seen. Um, mm -hmm. did, did, would you have any, you know, such thoughts concerning 2023? Um, well, with what we are seeing now, and I've said it before, uh, even though parties are the, maybe the formations of the politicians, but I always believe the individual, mm. yes, individual who can perform. Yeah, I believe that. With the experience we had with uh, PDP politicians, now they are crossing carpet here and there. I believe we can still have Nigerians who will do better. If Nigerian leaders can sit down and say, we are for Nigeria, we want Nigeria to work, why not? No, we no, what I'm asking is, what I'm asking is, because you, you specifically mentioned that the APC will grow further than 2019. Oh, but with the way um, we are seeing now, yes. they so, need to check themselves up. So, so would, would, no. you, would, you, would you say same beyond 2023, that uh, the APC will still be in, in power? Uh, well, that one is left for the people with what is going on now. I mean, for example, look at me here, saying that you can see God alive. The true name of the creator is Muaranji, and they are not listening, rather. They are using people to give you know, vile propaganda against me. So what is not done in Europe that even we are copying? In Europe, if you can drink beer or even water, and much more than anybody, they will crown you. Why? Because <coughs> they want to take care of the ordinary person to feel. So today, I, my, my, my thinking is different. I did an illumination on the... Um, uh, President Buhari, that yes, is this, is that, now he's there. But people are crying. The cost of merchandise is going up, food stuff going up, everything. There's need to check up. I do not want to say anything about it. For now, I feel that there's agitation on ground. People are crying. The security is there. So I cannot see whether APC uh, coming back, except they put on, they correct the situation. So what, what, what would now be the solution? Now that you say there's uh, hunger, people are crying, insecurity, the there's agitation. We have to continue shouting on the president, writing, we can't keep quiet. Hey, he's carrying the power. We have to continue because we gave him the power to protect us, not to kill us, not to give us what, hunger. Hey, what to give us, uh, what, unhappiness. So we have to continue, and that is why I'm here, to tell the world that, hey, there's need for us to go beyond what we are practicing, like what we call Africa, no crazy. In Africa, no crazy. Uh, the president must be our, what, servant. We voted him there, so the governor is our servant, the commissioner. They have to do it. The money should not be taken abroad. There are many measures being taken to combat crime, even the banks in all of those places. But Africa, no crisis is the best, where the leadership must have knowledge. They have to come for knowledge. If they use Maraji, tomorrow you hear that, hey, we have released all detainees. Let us sit down and talk. That is what I am begging for. And I'm walking towards. Are you saying that um, Maraji is the solution to Nigeria's problem? Oh, yes, it is. To the world. How? I mean, I'm the king of kings of all hearts. I say you can see the creator alive. And I'm doing it. Find out from many. So they need knowledge. Knowledge. Once they have knowledge, all these arrests here, they will stop. They will pump money into the economy. The money is there. And it's giving them headache until they understand. They are wasting time. <laughs> Would you like to still handle the petroleum sector? Petroleum sector? Yeah. Me? Yes. Oh, well, maybe what I'm going to do is to pick one of my, uh, those who have received knowledge. That's what I'm saying indirectly because, hey, the petrol is there, but they are messing up with everything, messing up, totally messing up. Million, million, you go steal. When you steal, then you go to court and you defend yourself. You disappear. Sometimes I even say that, you know, you have to join, if you steal and you join APC or PDP, you'll be covered. What a mess. 
So if you put me there, maybe hmm, the first thing I will go is to what? <laughs> Open up factories for unemployed youth to start working. I will just carry all the students, jobless high school graduates, um, technical school graduates, university graduates, within one week. They are ready. We would even drop them into the police. They are, we are short of policemen. Drop yeah. them to the man. Yes, you pay them heavily. Nigerians will do it. We will see but, you, but you know, the, because uh, some of the problems that we're faced with right now is as a result of the fact that we just, uh, you know, just draft people into the police without the necessary training. I mean, of it's a very course. sensitive, oh. it's a very sensitive, uh, you know, uh, part of the country yeah. uh, or body um, of government. Uh, and yeah. as such, you can't just, uh, uh, you know, chunk anybody or just push of anybody course. in when there. Of course, there will be crash programs. 30 days, one month, two, two months, they will be, ah, Nigerians? Okay, Nigerians, they are the best. Anywhere you go, I'm telling you this, only that the leaders are very selfish, very greedy, very parochial, and they should give way for those who will come up to do it, to do it. It could be from those that are there now. If they agree, things will change. What is it to write your name or plant your name on the sand of time in gold is not ordinary. No, just imagine the Attorney General saying that uh, comparing the people dying by what um, headsmen to spare parts not going to the north. It means that he carrying the, uh, the degree, he doesn't have the wisdom. Yeah. He doesn't have the feeling of what is going on. We are not against anybody. But we cannot sit down. Six oil producing country leading in this world, and we are going to ask for loan. In 1974, we were loaning the IMF money from Nigeria. Nigeria was giving them loan. I'm alive. 1974. Now, this year, now we are asking for loan from abroad. Why? Because the leaders have lost the vision of the founding fathers. They have lost it completely. Oh, yes, my phone, I bought it for 600. I'm driving a bulletproof car. Is that all? What about those who are making the cars? In America, you can't mess up and stay in power. Whether you're a clerk, whether you're a manager, whether you're a accountant, or a businessman, the same way in Europe. Nigeria here, even if you steal, your name will be coming in the first page. There are many, many, many criminals who are inside the House of Assembly making laws. Their cases are there. What is EFCC doing? Is it trying to say, look, this one is untouchable in that way? So we need a divine government. A divine government where Buhari, um, Sanwolu, all the governors, they will receive knowledge. Because that is what changed America, Europe. They oh. used the masters of the time. The knowledge they were given. We are talking about peace, universal peace. There's no way you can do it if you are not able to give and give as a leader by listening to all and what using them to achieve that goal is a mess. Such right. a leader. Um, the founder, One Love Family, Satguru Maharaji. Um, it's been very interesting speaking with you, and we say thank you for gracing our studio. Hey, there's something I forgot. We are having Golden Age Festival in Ibadan. Okay. From the 9th to the 17th of this month. Nine days of what? Prayer, meditation. Anybody who comes there, enters that village, I can assure you here, for the next 13 years, nothing can take his life or her life. From the yes. 9th to? To 17th November. Okay. In Maharaji village, Ibadan. Okay. I love the express food. I'm telling you, we are asking you to come. Let's see who will be there. 13 years, nothing shall happen to the person. For the Son of Man is manifested there. All right. And uh, I think that's where we'll be wrapping up this morning. Uh, Sat Guru Maharaji. Thank you very much once again yeah. for joining us we and being a part of the breakfast. Plus TV. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Go ahead. Don't look back. All right. 
And uh, of course, uh, this is where we will be wrapping up the program generally. Uh, if you missed out on any of these, remember where to catch up. It's simply at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Osao Gi Ogbon. And I am Messi Boko. Do have a great day.